For today's video, we are at Brighter Shade Studios in Marietta, Georgia. Let's get into it. This is a brand new cab that I picked up from LA Vintage Gear, and it is a Cary Wright tribute cab. If you're not familiar with the name Cary Wright, he was a famous cab builder with over 30 years of experience and had a meticulous eye for detail. People like Keith Richards and Eddie Van Halen called Cary to work on amps and build cabs for them. I even read a story online where a fly landed on a lacquer coat for a cab and he threw it away. He cut it in half and threw it in the trash because it wasn't perfect. Original Cary Wright cabs sell for upwards of two and three thousand dollars, but unfortunately, Cary Wright recently passed away. <laughs> I mentioned earlier that this is a Cary Wright tribute cab. Here's what that means straight from LA Vintage Gear's website. Cary Wright deplaned this world in October 2021. Sad day indeed. Our friendship wasn't over. I, LA Vintage Gear, have decided to honor KW with a tribute series of his 112 and 212 cabinets. Conrad Vivo was Cary's apprentice the last year of KW's existence. I bought the remainder of KW's unfinished cabs and had Conrad Tolex and grill a cab so I could see his work in AB. I couldn't believe I picked Conrad's cab over KW's. They are that freaking close. I had Conrad finish 20 cabs for me. I have maybe four left. Fast forward two months later, I decided to do a venture with Conrad, the Carry Wright Tribute Series 112 and 212s only, maybe 412s in the future. All materials are sourced from KW's vendors and all builds are exactly KW's specs, which are the following. Russian birch plywood, angled baffle, both open and closed backs, open back will be the Dumble style oval, LAVG proprietary grill cloth, and Marshall style striping. <laughs> One thing I love about this cab is that it is very articulate. No matter what speakers I put in it, what amp I'm playing through it, it really just speaks and you kind of hear the amp and hear the speakers in a different way than what I've heard with other cabs. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, I think it's just the construction, um, you know, all the small design choices that make this cab what it is, but it really sounds fantastic. I think you can really hear this with this amp and this guitar. This is my sugar guitar. Um, and this guitar just by itself acoustically is really resonant and has a nice kind of twang to the sound, even though it's got PAF style pickups from Mojo Tone in it. Um, it's got this mastery bridge and it just has this almost in-between kind of humbucker and telly sound. Even acoustically, you can really hear that coming off of the guitar. When I plug into this amp and cab, I can hear that coming through um, in a way that I haven't heard with other cabs or, or other, um, other amps even. It's just this combination is something special. Now I've got my Trinity Tweed Deluxe clone that I made a little while back plugged up to the cab. Let's take a listen to it. A 
another great thing about this cab is that when you buy it, you get the open back option and a closed back option. Today, I've just had the open back option on there. Um, I just haven't wanted to go through um, changing it and all of that, but it is easy. You just take out some screws and put the closed back on there. Um, with the closed back, you're gonna get some more low end, a little more thump. It's gonna sound a little closer to a 412. Now, I will say that this is definitely oversized for a typical 212 cabinet. It's a little bigger, and I think that has a lot to do with the great sound. Also, the oval and the open back, um, a lot of people think that that really adds something to the sound. That's kind of a, a dumble thing, you know, with uh, the dumble made cabs um, that had the oval in the back. I think that allows the maker to really tune the cab and tune the amount of low end and the response of the cab by the shape and the size of that um, cutout in the back of it. Obviously today I'm not in my home studio. I'm here at Brighter Shade, which is my buddy John's place. So huge thank you to John for letting me use the space. The main reason I'm here, um, other than making videos, is to capture some IRs of this cab. So definitely be on the lookout for those in the future. I also want to point you to a link down in the description for Hop on a Cure. My buddy John, who uh, studio this is, was recently diagnosed with ALS and has started an organization to raise funds, raise awareness. They're looking to cure ALS. You can find more info about the cause and everything surrounding that at that link below. That's gonna do it for this one. As always, thank you for checking out this video. And until next time, I'll see you out there.